Next contestant, I'm looking for Eric. Eric, please be in the audience, Eric. There's Eric. Eric is going to talk about the best way to build an audit table using the partition feature of DB2. This sounds pretty exciting. Let's make Eric our presenter. Eric, you should see a button there inviting you to show your screen. Ah, we can see your screen. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Yes, we can hear you, Eric. Welcome to the okay, show. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. to this the show. My... Where okay, are you based? My... I'm in Brazil. In Brazil. Well, welcome. Yeah, so, thank you. So you've seen the other uh, presentations today, and you know the rules. You're going to have about a, a five-minute limit. Are you yeah. ready? Are you ready to begin? Yeah, I am. Let's gonna, begin. Going to take a deep breath, and you're ready to go. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Go. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about DB2 partitional tables and the best way to, to set up this future and in the best scenario. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you can know this future, but you can, you can think a, a good way of how to implement that. Uh, before, before, nine, uh, before edition 9.1, DBAs used to have a hard work, for example, to purge data or perform reorg operations on a big table. And after that, after the, this future, maybe some tasks that take an hour could, could take just a few seconds. Uh, this scenario that I will talk about is one in our customer. Uh, they had a audit table that logs every detail about their application, and the, that was a big table. Uh, this was the table uh, with a lot of fields and some blob fields and big fields, and they always add the record based on the timestamp. So this is the key for for using this future. For example, on the older versions you could think a way to, to purge the, the data or to reorg the table and this could take a long time using normal SQL delete statement or just reorg table as normal. Uh, the key, the main key to, to resolve this problem is to use the partitional tables and you can distribute the data of their partitions. For example, uh, uh, in the end of the DDL statement, we can, we can pass this argument partition by the key and the, the rules of the, the partitions. Uh, a good way to, to, to use this feature is to choose a good partition key. This key must, must have a, a high granulity and to distribute the data over the partitions. And you can, you can purge the data by this key. For example, the best, the best description for our scenario was the date. You can check the table structure of this table using syscat.data partitions and you can see the low value and the high value of the partitions and also the partition name to, to apply another operations on this table. You can also check the partition with db2look and we'll show you how the partitions are, are on, on the structure. Here is the, 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 the hint for, for purging the data. You can just do outer table statement to the attach the partition you want to purge and this the attach will move the partition to to a table and you can easily after that drop that table. Also you can perform offline offline reorgs over a single partition so you avoid to 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 lock to to get a z lock on all the on the, all the table 
and you, you cannot access that table. For example here, I just run a reorg on a single partition and it was just locked the, the partition number 9 here. Also we start on 9.7 index are partitioned too and attaching the attached partition is improved because index does not need to rebuild when you perform a, a the attach and after attaching attaching a partition into a table you, your set integrity is really it's improved too about license and editions this future is in enterprise edition or advanced enterprise edition and started on 9.1 and the partition at index started on 9.7 So this this future, uh, with this future, get performance improvement and can reduce the time. It's easier to to manage your database and the scalability the scalability for the table is is bigger. Also, it's you can have a happier DBA. So that's it, and that's me on the photo. Scott, are you still there? Oh dear, I think we've lost Scott. No, no, I'm still here. <laughs> Thank I you, had, Eric. I had, to, I had to unmute myself. Uh, so you like coffee, Eric? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah it looks like a fancy a coffee. That's a coffee, yeah. fancy coffee machine. Well, thanks for your presentation. I, I like that uh, partitioning stuff for performance. Uh, let me inquire with our judges. Uh, we'll go to Martin first this time. Hi, Eric. Uh, good job. Hi. Uh, one of the things I like Thank to uh, do when I'm putting together a presentation is uh, it seemed that when I was watching your presentation, you talked about each feature of the uh, partitioning and, and what you would do. It might have been nice to have a, a, a list of that uh, at the beginning or at the end just to say uh, what all the operations are and, and what they are and perhaps why why you would want to do them and why they're important as opposed to you know just saying what they are uh, small thing but okay. sometimes that would help people a little bit okay thanks thank you thank, thank you. you Martin class your thoughts well it was a, a presentation which uh, solved a problem and that's always nice uh, to uh, to hear that you have a problem and there's a really great feature in DB2 which solves it. Uh, so in that sense, uh, well done. Uh, regarding the presentation, two little things. Uh, the logo on the top is pretty dominant uh, and it's uh, also at the bottom, uh, the company name, so you might want to shrink that a little bit. And be careful with using images which are still showing that they are samples from a stock photo site so but uh, all together press a good presentation really there was okay an thanks there uh, was an I will take care of that <laughs> there was an image from a stock photo site good catch class I didn't see that uh, Christian what are your thoughts hi Eric hi good pre good presentation thank you very much what what could I add? I, I think that's following what the class was saying, that uh, the text could be bigger in some cases. So provide more okay. information, I would say. May, may use more that space. Another little thing I think that I, I realize that it is difficult to present on uh, time constraints, but uh, I would like if you would have the time to explain a little bit more or um, provide more details about the advantages of partitioning. Um, otherwise, very good wo work, very good job. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us all the way from from Brazil. How's the weather down there today, by the way? It's a little. It's I think twenty degrees, but in Celsius. Twenty Celsius. 
Martin, can you convert that to Fahrenheit? <laughs> 68. 68. Yeah. Well, that's room temperature. Sounds like a, a pleasant day. Yeah. That's a very yeah, yeah. All right, Eric, thank Good you very much. Here, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, now we have to uh, do the difficult thing. We have to ask our uh, judges to decide which of these uh, 